Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I am Paul from Flutter with DevScore. Okay, so today this is what we're we'll building. We're we'll building a screw that actually does this effect. And let's say this is our logo and this is our app title. Then we have maybe some other thing up here and maybe a tab bar over here and we want this effect that actually does this so that's what we'll be talking about today so it's a bit complicated but with some few steps you see how easy it is so let's get to the code so here in my code i have the main function which is the, the actual entry of our app and I have the run app which actually runs our my app class over here and my app my app class as a material app which actually wrap everything here and in our material app we have a home view which contains everything that is displayed over here so in our home view we have a scaffold which i give a background color of black so the color of the the scaffold which wraps up everything so let me show you okay, okay let me run this is black is all black so and we have a safe area which actually brings down everything to the main view of the scaffold so and also we now have a custom scroll view so that's what we're using for the scroll and if you check what the scroll view is create scroll view that creates custom screw effect using silvers so everything we'll be doing will be using silver silvers and to create this custom screw effect so in our silvers we we'll be having a silver persistent header which is which is all this that's on top of our eyebrow we'll be customizing it to suit our need and we have a silver list and this this is a this is a dynamic silver list so you can actually pass whatever you want to pass in here what this silver list does it um, creates an item of this widget so if i should go into this item you see the items is actually a container padding that has a padding of it's all over and margin with height 100 and width with the minus of the width of the screen and the color changes randomly to our uh, and color primaries and has a text which is this so go to the top again so it actually dynamically creates these um, items into 100 it creates hundreds of these items so that's what the silver list does you can check more about silver list is create a silver that places blocks during the linear array so you can pass in it and hurry there then it actually creates everything you want so the main thing we'll be talking about today is the the app bar that screws very well so in our persistent header here and our delicate um, parameter here we have a persistent app bar which i created manually so I will go in there so that's what we'll be talking about and uh persistent hopper extends silver persistent header delicate which is actually this so what this does it creates a silver that varies its size when it screws to the start of a viewpoint the delicate pin and floating alone must not be known so we must not because I actually specified that the floating and the pin they are 
or true you can set it to false or or true but not null it will give you an error so so i actually specified my parameter as i passed the argument are uh, the upper max height which is year to year the, the the max height of all this then i have my album mean height which when it shows this the height here and i have an offset here which i'm not actually using which i'll just remove and i have a tab bar will remove it i'm not using them okay so that's what i have remaining here okay so in our build method over here it actually takes three parameters which is the context the shrink offset which is a, a double and that's what we're using to play around our screws with um, stack also we have a boolean i name it overlap content so i have a container I have a container with the color of white which is all this and I have a stack widget you know you guys know what stack is so and the fit is is expand and I have two children over here which is the first the position and the second is also a position widget and the first is the first is let me show that and okay the first is actually the two um, widgets down here and the second is the one at the top so we did some calculations here i did some calculations here to specify how it it um, shrinks for the position here we have top we have top and here is the top calculations I did so it actually when I screw it actually move it to the top and also I specified uh, something over here to the first upper offset which I did some calculations here and which nicely does all of this so in our position widget here we have a container and the width is the width of the screen and I have a wrap if you don't have any wrap here if you should use a column or let's use a column and check you actually you get an error so you, I think there will be an error and okay okay so okay this since is a stack with it it didn't bring any errors so I think that's that's the case so but actually let's leave it in a wrap with it I think that fixes everything okay let me talk about let me talk about our app with logo so this app logo with so this could be our app and uh, our app logo and the text so you can customize that to your need and actually for a bonus i have created a package like something like this but for a web so you can check it in the description i have added that so you can use something like this for your web apps okay and go into that and also I have an extend extended item here which it which I created which does all of this you can go through the code and this shrink out of view and which is the top is the top it shrinks out of view and I also have its also here you can specify you can make your just customized you can make it customized and everything 
so it gives us that it is the same widget so at the top at the bottom here and for this for this you have to override this four okay you have to over override this four four um, get getters you have to override these four getters first is the the upper height max upper height which is the the height from here to here and the second is the, the mean which is just this and the snap you can choose to um, use it or not and also we have should rebuild which i said to true so i think that's all you can do to have this effect that's all you can do to have this effect so the code is down in the description to my github repo you can go there download the code and start using and if you have not subscribed to the channel you just do that there's one of the motivation for creating content like this and think that's all have a nice day